The Passionate Vegetable. This is a book by a chef and a nutritionist. Her name is Suzanne Landry, and this is a renewed release of her book. Very healthful, inspired recipes. First part of the maybe 40, 50 pages, the beginning of the book, and she answers a lot of really good questions and concerns about where your food's coming from and the types of foods that you should be eating. She even goes into food budgets and how do you stock your pantry with all the right foods so that you know that you're eating organically, naturally, healthfully all the time. It doesn't have pictures of the dishes on every page, but it's so colorful. It's a full color cookbook. So today I'm gonna to be doing the Spanish style quiche. I'm gonna start with a pre-made, well actually it's not pre-made in the store. I made this myself last night. I like to do this first because it makes it into a circle. Otherwise you get like this amoeba shaped thing and it doesn't really, sometimes it doesn't really quite fit. So work it out like that. And you know what, this is a sign for me when it cracks like that, that's a sign of a flaky crust. And then drape it over, okay? And then just very carefully lift it up. So I'm just gonna work my fingers into all the little grooves. I wanna make sure that I'm pressing right into the edge like that. You wanna bake the crust first. You put a little bit of foil, and this will keep it from like rising up, getting puffy inside of the, um, the oven. So we're gonna put it in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes, and then we'll take it out and we'll let it cool. Grab this onion, I'm just gonna slice this in half. Boop, that. Jalapeno is not as spicy as other peppers are. Um, my eyes are getting watery from the onions. this to the side, and green bell peppers. Sloth it in half, and then we end up cutting the tops and the bottoms off. It's always a present when you open it, right? I got this at the farmer's market and it shouldn't look like that. Well, it could look like that because that means it's organic, right? But I don't want to use that. It's got a, it's got a little friend in there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, beautiful corn, yes, take some. Well, he was an Italian, but I can't do another accent, so. So I take it, and of course it's the first one I open, and there's like a freaking friend in there. This is gonna be about half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. We're just gonna take the kernels off. I'm gonna take these guys, saute them in olive oil, and then we'll put them in the pie shell. Blind bake, it's partially baked, it's not completely baked. Now you always like cook the onions and the garlic and whatever aromatics first because that's what actually is the base of the flavors in your dish. Jalapenos move over like that. Peppers. Okay, so we're gonna take it off the heat. And then I'm gonna add the black beans. You don't wanna cook the black beans because they'll disintegrate. Now we can assemble the custard. You're gonna grab a handful of cilantro. Take some of our filling. We're just gonna lay it in there. Salt. Pepper. Very carefully. 
You don't have to be crazy about it. So, I'm gonna cover it 350 degrees for 15 minutes with the foil on and then we'll take it off. We took the foil off the edges, then we're gonna bake it for another 25 minutes. I'm gonna add more cheese. So we'll see you in 25 or so. So this next recipe from Suzanne Landry's uh, The Passionate Vegetable is the tofu parmesan. There's a lot of liquid in here, so I'm just gonna poke it and I'm gonna dump all the liquid out. So you're gonna take your tofu, we're gonna place it into the egg, and I have Italian seasoned breadcrumbs here, and just let it kind of set on another plate, okay? So I'm actually gonna cover the bottom of this pan with as much oil as possible. Do I still have my makeup on? What we're doing, we're not cooking the tofu. We are just browning the crust. That's all you want to do. You're not trying to cook the tofu. So you just want a really nice golden brown on this thing, okay? Beautiful. What a great recipe. And I have Parmesan, Romano cheese, Asiago mixed here. And I'm just gonna do this. Oh my, look at my souffle, it's looking so handsome. Three seventy-five for just 15 minutes because you just want to melt that cheese and that's it, okay? It's ready. Oh my gosh. Like it's all bubbling around the edges and the marinara sauce smells so good. Right? Dude. You're not even gonna miss that it's not chicken or eggplant. The tofu has a very slight crunchy top, and then as you bite into it, the tofu is heated all the way through with the, with the marinara sauce and the taste of the cheese. Mmm. So she's, Suzanne, um, suggests definitely enjoy this with like avocado slices um, or salsa. And I was thinking, ooh, you know what would be really good with this is a really quick pico de gallo. Tomatoes, onions, a little bit of pepper. So I'm gonna take part of that. And I'm gonna be crazy and leave the membrane in there. And I'm just gonna... And the smaller you chop them up, um, then you won't like get a chance of biting into this gigantic piece of jalapeno. Some cilantro, lime, squeeze it, salt, pepper. One of my favorite vegetarian books, really up there with uh, my other favorite vegetarian chef, uh, Deborah Madison. Um, this has been in my kitchen for a couple months now, so her dishes are spot on. Easy, easy to put together, they're short, not overly complicated, and this is healthy eating. 
you don't have to feel guilty at all. So try it for sure.